And having spent uh, two weeks in Tahrir Square in Egypt, I must say that this is the time for the youth. And this is the time for them to teach us what it's like to make a revolution. It was just mind-blowing to be in the middle of Tahrir Square in those early days of the revolution when just about everybody who was there was a young person. And they started camping out. And in the beginning, it was really, uh, you know, there were snipers on the building shooting into the square. People were dying. You don't hear a lot about all the people that died in this revolution in Egypt. And I knew some of their parents, and their parents were just beside themselves saying, you can't go out there, you can't sleep there, you can't go today. And the kids would just disappear, and they'd just go, and they would just sleep there. And the parents were just pulling their hair out beside themselves, and then the young people said to the parents, there's only one thing for you to do, join us. And that's what they did. And so the parents started coming. And the families were camping out together. I mean, it gives me chills just to think about it because these were people who hadn't done anything like this in their lives. And here they were facing the police and the thugs and the army that they didn't know which way the army was going to turn. And um, they were there sleeping out. Uh, very profound, devout Muslims over here, very secular, tight jean young girls over there, and all of them working like one seamless thread. And I remember one night, I was staying in a hotel a block away from Tahrir Square, and I'd spend as much time as I could till I was really exhausted, like two or three in the morning. And one night I was leaving the square, and I see a family that was sitting there, and I said, you know, I hope you get some sleep tonight. And the mother just looked and smiled and she said, we don't need any sleep. We've been sleeping for 30 years and it's, right. it's our young people who have woken us up and we are so proud and thankful. Wow. Wow.